Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to our devotion for uh, Holy Week. Um, I'm grateful that you could be here. Uh, let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Um, I'm going to read to you a verse from Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 23, verse, uh, beginning at verse 15. My son, if your heart is wise, my heart too will be glad. My inmost being will exult when your lips speak what is right. Let not your heart envy sinners, but continue in the fear of the Lord all the day. Surely there is a future, and your hope will not be cut off. There is a uh, gentleman by the name of Dan Driver. Uh, I think he lives in California. He's a communications director, uh, kind of a communications specialist. Um, who uh, is also a leader, or was a leader, I don't know if he still is anymore, uh, of, of a group of Toastmasters. Toastmasters is a group of people that get together to help each other uh, learn how to do public speaking better. And he was kind of the leader of this group of Toastmasters, and one of the, the traditions that his group had was that they would ask a question at the beginning, and the other members would have to kind of fulfill or fill in that question. And one time, uh, Mr. Driver, he, he gave them the question of, Imagine that you are uh, such and such person at such and such time, and, and he'll give each one of them a different person. What is your expectation for the 21st century? That's what he asked. So this is, you know, a good 20 plus years ago that he did this, okay? And, and he had five different people there, and so he gave each of them a different person. One of them was a, to be an Argentinian cowboy, which is a gaucho. Another one is to be a was to be an African bushman, a Filipino fisherman, an Eskimo hunter, and a Mexican farmer. And he said, what is your expectation, or what do you think their expectations would be for the 21st century? And the Argentinian cowboy, the gaucho, he said, uh, my hope is that, I hope that, or, or I think that, that I, I'm wishing that there will be enough grass for my cattle uh, so that I can still provide for my family. And then the African bushman said, um, I'm hoping that there's going to be enough animals to hunt so that I can take care of my family. And the Filipino fisherman said, um, I'm worried about the pollution that's going to be filling the ocean and how it's going to affect the fish that I try to catch uh, each week. And, and the Eskimo hunter uh, person said uh, they were worried about the disruption of, of his life and, 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 and the traditions of his, of his culture and, and how they're going to be changed or affected or disrupted by the future. And the Mexican farmer uh, was worried about pesticides and how the pesticides are, are in his soil and how that's going to affect his crop and his ability uh, to, to take care of his family. And, and, and Mr. Driver was, was astonished by all of their answers because not a single one of them was filled with hope. They were all negative. They were all worried about different things and, and whether they were going to be able to take care of their family. They were so filled with worry. He, he had thought that, being the optimist that he is, he had thought that, that, they, that the responses would be filled with, you know, wonderful things like, oh, technology is going to be going to do this, and it's going to provide this for me, and it's going to provide this for me, and things will be so much better. But on the flip side, they were all worried about the future, and they didn't really have much hope for what the 21st century was going to give to them. We can't lose our hope future. Okay? Now, I can't tell you what the future in here, in this world, has in store for us 20 years from now, 50 years from now. I don't, I don't know what this world's hope is going to be like in that, you know, what, what hope we have for that time period, the, you know, 20, 50, 100 years, 100 years down the world, down the road. But we always have hope. We always have hope for the future in Jesus Christ. That's what Holy Week is all about. That's what Easter is all about, is it gives us hope. It gives us something to look forward to in the future. Not necessarily this world's future, but our eternal future. An eternal future which, which is going to be filled with so much peace and so much joy and so much love and so much wonder. Um, and it's going to last forever. Okay, It's going to last forever. That's what our hope is. That's what we can't lose sight of. That's what we can't let go of. Keep our hope for the future, because it will help us through the difficult and dark times of this life. So bow your heads and pray with me, please. Dear Heavenly Father, uh, you once uh, had Jeremiah write, I know the plans I have for you, plans for hope and the future. Um, we ask that you would help us to remember that hope and that future that we have in you. 
Use that hope that we have for our eternal future with you to bring us joy and peace during our lives today. Whether they're going good, whether they're going difficult, uh, having going through difficult times, or whatever they might be, um, we do have that hope in you, and we are grateful for that. So we pray this in the name of our dear Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.